Oh, you missed it earlier today. Hey, I'll take them, man. You know me. If you were closer, I would 100% take them. So uh, this morning I had one of I, like one of the computers I was working on was um, it was the desktop was constantly reloading itself, and the reason it was doing that is because the guy had over a thousand icons on his desktop. All right, uh, this thing has seen better lifetimes, not even just better days. Well, this Chromebook is in here for no power. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If you like these videos, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. It really, really helps the channel. I don't know. I'm assuming what happened is the guy... I wonder if this is like a joke from someone. My assumption is the guy just kept, like, letting... Um, OneDrive continually make duplicates of stuff and then put shortcuts on his desktop. Because as soon as I shut off OneDrive or I shut off all the icons, the computer started working correctly. And almost all of them were being referenced. Almost all of them were being referenced in um, in OneDrive. So. Calling liquid damage now. That's my professional. That's probably what's wrong. I don't. I don't care. I'm breaking my own rules with this thing. It's so disgusting. Even if I end up not fixing this thing, like I don't even want to touch it in its current condition. This is just like, how do you let electronics get like this? I told this lady this would be cheaper to replace. Her response was, I don't care, I need it fixed. So more than likely what that means is this is a school Chromebook. And the school is trying to charge her for it. Like a greatly inflated price more than likely. Like I said, it feels like a practical joke. I mean, you can see, like, even this, this is pretty terrible. Yeah, it's cracked here. It's missing pieces there. like adhesive in the middle of it. I 
Like, what happened to this thing? Besides someone just not giving two Fs about it. Like, I love Chromebooks. They serve, they serve a good purpose. Should have taken a good before photo. And yeah, that's just etched into the screen. There's nothing I can do about that. Like, you haven't seen my latest Roach videos, have you? Oh, that's right. I haven't done them yet. But I had one computer, one gaming computer that had, like, over 50 Roaches in it. And I was brave enough to take it apart. All right. Let's grab a power cord. All right. So, we have a power light over here. That. Oh, maybe all it needed was just a clean. Oh, I, I, there's like, there's a reason. There's a reason I keep this around. Well, apparently this lady just didn't know what she was talking about. So what is it? It is Control Shift R and power. It says the battery is charging. This one. Quick, someone tell me how to power wash a Chromebook. Well, that ain't working. And by when I say that ain't working, keyboard isn't working. I wonder why. Let's see if I can get an external to work, because <laughs> now nothing ain't working. That's right, double negative. Control Alt Shift. R. Control Shift R. I'm not seeing the restart button. All right. Well, clearly there's something else going on here. So let's see what kind of roaches. I mean, problems we have inside. These have to go get washed now. Toss them back there. We got ourselves, it's a Chromebook 14A from HP. On the bottom underneath these two pads, we have four, six screws, all identical. And then we're gonna need a little pry tool in the corner there, pop it open, the bottom's all plastic. Like generally, it probably won't be in as bad a shape as this computer is. So. Just be careful as you go around. Don't want to damage anything. Oh, look at that, there's two more. Two more I almost didn't see. So 
So it actually ends up being eight screws on the front. Let's see, once you get inside, we have ourselves battery, which this one here has something on it. it looks like soda. Tiny little motherboard, daughter board, speakers. Not really much else on these guys. We're at a point where it's clearly not worth my time. But nothing that way. So DC jack needs to be replaced. That's fun. Yeah, so I do that, light shuts off. Now it doesn't even want to turn on. <clears throat> Whew. Yeah. Speaking of the battery. Okay. There's not a lot of screws here. Let's just do a little exploratory stuff before we move on to the next computer. Curious. <clears throat> Good job, HP. Real bright thinkers you guys are. <coughs> yeah, I think I'm starting to see what our actual problem is here. Right there. This thing is less densely packed than that iPhone. Yeah, there's like, there's water damage on stuff. damage on that which is the charging of course oh, this is the charging one to pull that out as well So we have corrosion here, thermal camera. We'll see what if anything is getting hot here. Nothing getting hot. Mm, I'll take it back. CPU die. It's getting wicked hot even though it's not supposed to be on. Yeah, so still the CPU die, and then whatever this is is getting a little warm. These guys are getting real hot. Well, that's the power circuit. So, hold on a second. It just doesn't burst into flames. Hello. Yeah, so with the power off. As soon as it starts charging the battery, that guy starts getting hot, which is normal. But it shouldn't just be getting, it shouldn't just be running. Problem is they decided to put this giant copper plate here. I don't know, Emily, I haven't decided yet. So let's insulate it with a glove. The only way to get to the underside of this board was to remove that black plastic that was on there. I'm just concerned that it's actually, as soon as I'm giving it power, it's actually turning on. So let's find out, shall we? Just 
kind of do that for now. But it is not. So I'm just trying to make sure that it's not actively turning on. So I said one day I'm sure he will. It's like everybody. It is just turning on on its own. Even though I am not the one that did it, it's still turning itself on. So much fun. Nice this keyboard is... How much for a palm rest for this thing? I'm going to have to figure out, like, this... I think this glove might actually be my solution for this. Just cut that out and put it underneath there. As a way to isolate that. Because I don't have... I don't have giant sheets of thin plastic. <clears throat> This is, a, this is a Chrome Pad 4A, right? That's what I said. 14A. <clears throat> All right, so that's ordered. She wants to fix it, surprisingly. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked that video, make sure you hit the like button if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I stream daily on Twitch at twitch.tv slash specvengeance. And uh, yeah, if you want to learn more about my services, check out BradentonPCRepair.com. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.